Hey guys, how you doing today? Wow, it has been like a couple of weeks or so since I have done a video. Uh, we have been super busy around here um, <coughs> with winter coming. I had a bunch of outside stuff to do when the weather permitted. Uh, we started uh, remodeling our upstairs bathroom. We're almost done. Uh, I think we have like a... We have to put up our molding um, on the floor and up on the top. And But we got our new sink in, our new potty. Uh, we got a couple cabinets that we got and got those all put together. Uh, got our new flooring in, all of our new paint, and border, new lights. It's it's really beautiful. It's coming along. But I'm not quite done yet. But I have a few ideas I want to do up there. Up there in uh, our master bathroom is, I have a southern window. And it's a garden window that we put in years ago when we first moved in. But um, I have a few plants up there. Well... I did. I've had plants up there even though it wasn't completely done yet. Uh, we were kind of using it for storage space for a minute until we got started on the project again. But um, anyhow, my Monstera is in there, my big one, my mother plant. Um, I have a couple of ferns, but uh, I guess I probably shouldn't have started with this plant since I started with the bathroom. Anyhow, this is a new plant, and then I'm going to go on with our bathroom bathroom remodeling and show you what I got for up there. Um, plant. That's plant stuff. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I want to show you. About a week ago, uh, we went to Lowe's, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to buy no plants. <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah, famous last words, right? I found this beautiful, it was in a little three inch pot, it's a maiden hair fern. I got her, isn't she beautiful? Uh, a couple days later I decided to repot her in this glass vessel that I have. You can see how I did it. I put uh, perlite on the bottom and then I put a real light airy uh, soil mixture in there with her with a lot of perlite and she was planted in all peat. I left all that peat together. I just put the plant down in here, filled it up, and then on the top I've got moss all the way around. If you guys can see, I don't know if I can hold it up and show with one. See I have just moss around the top of her. But isn't she gorgeous? Oh, I bought in so many of these poor plants and I kill them every time and I just thought for well for three or four dollars whatever I spent on it it wasn't very much it was just a little pot uh, I bought the biggest one and healthiest one I could I could get I see she's got new growth coming which this is all new up here if you can see all the newer lighter green leaves that she has and then she's got a couple unfurling down here so I think she's happy. But anyhow, I got this plant to, to go up in uh, our upstairs bathroom. And um, I think she'll do well up there. I like having my ferns upstairs because our upstairs is a little cooler and they do pretty nice in here. But if I see this one is not doing so well like my Boston ferns do, uh, I'll bring her back down here in the warmer climate with... Um, in, in normal warmer room temperatures, but oh, isn't she beautiful? Okay, I think she was only like five, I don't know, four or five dollars. She has grown a little bit since I got her. She's so pretty, I hope I don't kill her. Anyhow, okay, I'm gonna slide her over there out of the way. Now, the next plant I want to update you on is this beautiful. I'm going to have to move my camera, I think. Well, I'll just hold her up. This is my Amedrium Silver uh, Spider-Man Monstera. 
is what I bought it as. Isn't she beautiful? This, these leaves are what she came with. And then she put out this leaf for me. And it's kind of um, odd. See how it come out? By the way, this plant is a very slow grower. Oh my god. And then she just recently unfurled this leaf. This one is still a little tender, but look at the color. I hope you guys can see the color on it. It's she is gorgeous. But um do I have a date on this? Yeah, I bought her 623. She was just a baby. It was, it was just a plug. But I put this little, I put her on this little pole. Um, so she'd have something to grow up. But I just think she is gorgeous. I love the coloration of her. She's being super slow, but from what I've heard, these plants are slow growers. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, she's got, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but she does have, there's some roots there. And that's all I'm really seeing. Oh wow, it just started pouring down rain. Can you guys hear that? But anyhow, absolutely beautiful. A medium, a medium silver Spider-Man. So it's a, supposedly a little bit different than the regular a medium silver, a medium? I never know if I'm saying that correctly. But anyhow, she is beautiful and I wanted to show her to you. Now, this next plant that I want to show you, I am super excited. Oh man, she is dusty, I just noticed. So, oh well, sorry. Now I'm probably going to have to back my camera up again. Oh yeah, yay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is my Monstera Escoleto. Escoleto, I don't, I'm not sure how you say that either. But anyhow, I bought her as a cutting. You can see her root system in here is just off the chart. She's doing really good. She's going to have to be repotted soon, but for now I'm just going to leave her alone. But this is her new leaf. She just unfurled it. It's still soft. So, but look. Look at the holes. Oh, so pretty. God, I love plants with these holes. The Monstera family is just, I love, Monstera family is one of my favorites. I have so many. <laughs> but she came with these these two leaves right here. This one was still curled up when I got her. So it's kind of small. And this one was, look at this one. This is the one that came. I can't believe that she's still hanging on. She did get a little bit of yellowing right here. But not a big deal. But just gorgeous. And then this new one, I think she will get a little bit bigger. I've had her under um, my Vivo Sun grow light, and she's kind of in a corner of a south window, but she is doing good. And you can see, look at the air root right here. But this goes on to now, I want to show you some of the new products that I got. Oh, I forgot to bring one over. Hold on a second. Knock her over a breaker. I bought some of these um, Coco Choir poles, and what's really cool, see this is a big one, I think it was a 16 inch or 18 inch or something like that, I don't know, I'm not going to get my tape measure out and measure it because they got all different sizes, but they bend, you can bend them, isn't that cool? But I bought, I think it was like a 5 pack, and I love this look, this is like totally me. I love the Coco Choir. I have a lot that I've made myself. 
and they weren't very expensive. I don't remember how much now that I paid because I bought them like, oh my god, over a month ago now, I think. <laughs> Probably two months ago. But anyways, this is the last one that I have. And I thought that she would look really cute. And she's already got this little air room. I thought that she would look super cute. Well, let me get, I've got some of my Velcro tape here. <laughs> it actually came with um, something else that I'm getting ready to show you next. I got some really cool new pots. Well, I mean, they're not really cool. They're not like super pretty or anything fancy, but I bought them for a purpose. One of them is my upstairs. I don't know. I'm just going to cut it like that big. And then we'll see. But I want to stick her in down here and let her just grow up. I just have had her on this little bamboo um, score thing just to keep her upright because she was kind of, she was kind of, oh, she's standing up pretty good now by herself. Let me scoot my camera back a hair so you guys can see better. I don't know, there's so many plants in the background that. And they're Ooh, got her sitting crooked. I got a pot, a pot upside down, setting my plants on. Well, I'm not gonna be it. Well, there we go. I can get the root close to it, and then I'm just gonna attach her. Oh, I cut that <laughs> way too big, but that's okay. I'll just wrap it around there a couple times. So now. I'm going to kind of just push down around the stake there where uh, I put that in and hopefully get it a little more secure. But now she can grow up this and um, maybe attach herself to it and get a little more, um, keep herself stable. I might do another one right there. Yeah, I think I will because you can see where the root. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, right here you can see the root. I'm just going to go a little bit below it and bring it in as tight as I can. <coughs> there, now it is touching. And maybe someday she will kind of grab onto it. I do notice when I use these poles, see it right here? <coughs> She's just touching the pole, that root right there. But I do notice when I use these bamboo, I mean, excuse me, not bamboo, um, cocoa choir poles when I make them myself. I just buy like the the pieces of the cocoa choir and then I cut them, wrap them around the pole and wrap them with twine. <coughs> Roots love that stuff and I don't keep it wet. I, I and They just attach onto it and probably because of humidity, I don't know, um, but it works. But anyways, my beautiful, I wanted to show you my beautiful new leaf. And like I say, I think she is going to get bigger. All right, let me get her out of the way. And then, okay, these ferns. Let me get a smaller one. I bought these really cool. Now these are going to, these ferns are going upstairs in my new upstairs bathroom. Whoa, I didn't have it sitting sturdy on the pot. But what I did was I had one big fern my big Boston fern, I cut her into four sections. No, I cut her into three sections. I cut her in half and then I cut half into another half. But I bought these really nice, they're hanging wall pots and they're self-watering. See, there's the, there's the hole. And I bought two different sizes. This one is the, let's see here. Let me get this out of the 
wrong way. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're all stuck together. See, I bought a whole bunch of them. But I think these were the, um, does it say on the bottom? I think these were the seven inch. And then they came, they come with the baskets. And then they actually give you uh, these little hooks so you can hang them. I won't use them for that, but I'll use them for something else. And then they give you the cotton rope, and then all you do is see the two big holes? One there, and well, right there, they're bigger than the other ones. You just stick them through. I'm sure you guys have seen these pots a million times on other channels, but I've never had one had them before. And I thought it would be perfect because I want to hang these ferns on the wall upstairs in my bathroom across from my garden window. My monstera is in the corner. I'll put a couple pictures up of um, my bathroom so far, but just a few because it's not done yet. And I want to wait until it's completely done and then I'll show you guys. I'll give you a, like, you know, a little tour if you want to see it. But anyways, you just stick your cotton rope down. And then you put it down into your container. Oops. And then you can hang it on the wall. Or you can just use it as a regular pot. You don't have to hang it on the wall. Which comes into place. So I got these 7 inch. I think they're 7 inch. I'm pretty sure they are. And then I also got oops, these little 4 inchers. And they're the same. They come with a basket and then your little pot that hangs on the wall. And then they also come with the cotton rope. And they also come with hooks. And it kills me because these hooks are like way bigger. But that's great. I use those hooks. I won't have to buy any for quite some time. So yeah, I got two different sizes. And the, this, these are all in the 7 inch. I got this fern. I put this fern in. It's been in here for, oh god, I think I did it like two, I think I cut my fern up about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. And she's doing good, as you can see. And then the other one is, here's the second one. She's a little lopsided how I... It's just the angle. I had this Boston Fern out uh, front, kind of off my, sitting on my steps out front. And I brought her in before it got really cold. So, but this is what I wanted to do with her because my ferns do great upstairs because it's cooler up there in the summertime. And then this is the bigger one. Okay, here she is. This is the one that's the half. And you can see... Oh, no, maybe you can't because my fur's in the way. <laughs> see how wet that is? It's keeping her wet really nicely. There's a piece that was broken. But ferns do pretty good when... And she's still got... I mean, I've watered her two times now. I watered her the day that I put her in here in these new hanging pots. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Because I wanted to give her time before um, I was ready to take her upstairs. But look at the new growth. This is all new. You can tell it's a lighter color and then the leaves are still unfurling. They have that little curl. Oh, so hard to show. But there's a whole bunch of new growth in here. So anyways, that is what I am doing with those. Man, I just made a huge ass mess on my floor. Ugh. And then the other pots that I bought that I really like, I bought these mostly for my anthuriums. These are a bunch of really... By the way, all these pots I bought on Amazon. Just type in hanging wall pots, I guess. I think is what I typed in. <coughs> but I got these really nice clear pots, mostly for my anthuriums. 
Um, there's one, two, three, four different sizes. I think this is an eight inch and then a five inch. And then there's a little four inches and then a three inch, which these sizes are sort of perfect for everything that I need. And they're pretty flexible, so they're not like a hard plastic that is going to, like some of my orchid pots, um, they're like a opaque color and they're pretty sturdy, but after they're in the sun for a while, they kind of start deteriorating and they can crack and break. But we'll see how these goes. And then I bought these clear saucers um, to go with my clear pots because I don't have cover pots for everything. So that's not like a huge priority in my life. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, these... Oh, wait. No, they don't. That's a different pot. Okay, never mind. I'm getting off track. So anyways, there's my clear pots. I got... Two more things to show you and then I will um, let you go. I think I showed you everything else. And then I bought these white pots. Now these are six inches. I needed some more six inch pots because I keep, I just always need six inch pots and I almost have all of my news. So these were really nice six inch pots, I thought. And I wanted a few to put up in my bathroom. And my bathroom is white and like a grayish silver color. So I wanted to stick with white pots for up there. And then plus, you know, I'll use them down here too. Otherwise, I'm not really a really big white pot fan. Um, it just doesn't fit my home uh, decor or what have you. But anyhow, whatever. I'm not saying I don't like it. I just don't. It's not usually what I pick out. I like blue. Um, but there is the drainage holes, which I think are going to cause issue. <laughs> Those kind of drainage holes are funky. But they all come with um, drainage. Oop! I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I don't have a plant in there. It would have fell right over. But it comes with all the, um, <laughs> I can't even think of what you call them. Oh my God, what in the hell is wrong with me? Saucer, duh. They came with the saucers and there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve in a pack. I have not used any of these yet. I have two plants that I want to put in these to go up in my bathroom. And then they came with the twelve, um, saucers so that was super nice also on amazon and they have different sizes um i just typed in white pots because that's what i wanted for up there mostly and so all those each come in a pack which it's pretty economical to buy them that way especially if you just want you know are going for i think they had like an option of white and black so, obviously, I wanted the white ones, but, all right, now, last thing I want to show you guys, that was a lot to show you, I got these, these are really cool, Chris from, uh, Chris's Garden Pile, no, excuse me, from Chris's, uh, Plants and Mosaics, I keep forgetting she changed her, uh, channel name, I hope in the last couple of videos I was saying her channel name right, uh, but anyhow, these are, let me get them out, this is really cool, she told me she got these and I was like, what? Oh, I have to look these up. These are for doing air layering, they're not, <laughs> they're not anything bad, but these are, um, what, what do you call them? Plant Rooting Grow Pro product equipment it says for roses but they're, they're for air layering and what you do is you put your your spag moss on each side and then you put it around okay we'll say this is the stem of your plant that you're trying to air layer you just put it around there 
and then it snaps. There's like a little lacky poo down here and it snaps shut. And then easy peasy. Now I have not used these little ones yet, but I did use, I bought the one that had two sizes. I, I do have used this big one. And it's the same thing. Whoops, I got it upside down. That's the top. And then you can see the, the snaps on here. You just fill it with moss. Fill each side with your damp moss. I got dark hair in there. We're not growing more dog hair. I have enough dog hair, thank you. So you put your moss on each side. And then you wrap it around your your stem that you want to air layer. I wish I had a... Oh, I just don't feel like digging anything out. Sorry, guys. But anyways, you, you get it. I mean, geez, it's not rocket science. And then these snap. They just snap shut. Like that. And then there you go. And then when you want to put more, when you see this is dry, and I, I got the clear ones. They have black and I think green. I wanted the clear so I could see. Even though that's going to produce algae in here, but I don't care. Algae don't hurt nothing. But I wanted to be able to see the roots and see when my moss looked dry. And then you just can take your little sprinkling can or, you know, a bottle or whatever. And then just put it right through the top of here. And good enough. But I thought these were cool. I think I only paid like eight, six or eight dollars for these on Amazon. Um, Chris said she got hers from, um... Uh, oh my gosh, what is the name of that company? Timu? Timu? Yeah, she got hers on there. I do not know what color hers are. She never showed them to me or nothing. Um, she just told me about them, but I wanted the clear ones. So Amazon, Timu, you could probably get them on eBay. I don't know about stores. I haven't seen them. But I did use the big one and I put it on my Philodendron Splendid because I want to cut her and then, you know, keep the bigger portion of that. But, yeah, I've been getting some pretty cool stuff. And like I said, I want to hang my hanging pots. Um, these are going up in my bathroom. Of course... I'm not going to use all of them, but I'll, use, I'll still use, you know, maybe I'll put anthuriums in them or something, um, even though they're hanging, you know, made for hanging. You don't have to use it for that. It's got a nice flat bottom, and it sits nicely. So, um, you know, you can use them either way. You're not really going to see this anyhow, but... So, yeah, that is... Um, I got a lot of different things in the couple two or three weeks now that I have not made any videos because we have just been super busy like I said I'll put a couple pictures up of our bathroom that we're redoing um if you guys are interested and want to see it so take another look at my beautiful maiden hair fern she is so pretty gosh I hope I don't kill her again <laughs> I, I just, oh, I have, my heart just loves ferns. I just adore inside ferns, outside ferns. I have them all over my garden outside, and I just have a weak spot for them. So, all right, guys, I am going to let you go, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Peace. Oh, gosh, that is heavy. Jeez.
Okay. 